Now, if you're running an online store using WordPress and WooCommerce, the chances are at some point you're going to want to add in extra features that are not included in the theme that you use. So we tend to then go and look for a plugin that does it and very quickly we end up with multiple plugins to handle various different scenarios, changing the way that the checkout looks, adding extra features in, sizing charts, those kinds of things. But what if I told you there was a better way? One plugin that has tons of options, probably covering pretty much everything you'll want to do to customize the features you have as part of WooCommerce. And you can also enable or disable exactly what you want. Well, that's what we're going to take a look at in today's sponsored video. We're going to be taking a look at Merchant and Merchant Pro. Now, this has been sponsored by A-Themes, but as always, I'm not going to give you any opinions. I'm simply going to demonstrate how these things work, and then you can make a more informed decision for yourself whether this is a plugin you want to check out for yourself. As always, all the applicable links for everything I cover will be in the description down below. So taking a look at the website, you can see their strap line is supercharge your WooCommerce store with over 40 different modules designed to boost sales, enhance customer experience, and so much more. And after checking out the free and the pro version of the plugin, they pretty much bang on. You can supercharge what WooCommerce does straight out of the box. So what sort of features do we actually have as part of Merchant? Well, you've got options to boost your revenue, things like frequently bought together if you want to bundle things to help people upsell, those types of things. You can buy X and get Y. You can apply volume discounts, spending goals, apply free gifts, a bunch of options. You've also got tools to increase your conversion rates, things like sticky add to cart, countdown timers for scarcity, those types of things. And you can also help reduce cart abandonment and build trust with various different options. Now, I could spend 20 minutes going through all these, but let's just jump into the dashboard and take a look at what we can enable, test some of these out and see how easy they are to set up. So once you've installed either the free and or the pro version of Merchant, you're going to have a new section on the left-hand side called Merchant. And inside there are all of the different options grouped together into the kind of things that they're going to do, whether you want them for conversion, for boosting revenue, those types of things. So you can see under the Convert More, we've got options for Buy Now, Animated Add to Cart, Product Labels, Add to Cart Text, and so on. Also changing the checkout, which is something that I do appreciate because the WooCommerce checkout, while it might be optimized, it's a little bit boring and it's nice to have more options available. And if you want to have something like a Shopify, you can do that. Let's try it out. So this is our current checkout. As you can see, it's your stock vanilla layout when it comes to WooCommerce. Nothing wrong with it, but nothing too exciting. If we hop back over into Merchant and open up the checkouts, we've got three different options we can choose from. And as you can see, we get a preview of what it could look like on the right-hand side. Now, obviously, your theme is going to affect various different aspects of this, so bear that in mind. Let's say we want to change this for the Shopify option. We can have the option for sticky totals, enable or disable it, or you can choose multi-step or one step. Let's go for the Shopify with the sticky totals. Let's enable it, and we now have that active on our site. And we now have our updated checkout page using the same kind of format that you see inside Shopify with that sticky right-hand column. We'll change that over to, for example, the multi-step, and we now have a multi-step checkout process or style to fit in with our overall site structure. Now, another little tweak to your site that can improve the whole user experience is bypassing the cart page. When you want to buy something, you just want to buy it straight away and go straight to the checkout. Well, by default, if we add to cart, it's going to take us over and add that into our cart. We'll see our cart. You kind of get the idea. So let's change that. Let's enable the buy now option. Now, if we want to tweak anything, the colors of the button, the text, the wording that's being used, we can do all that directly inside you. Let's leave it at the default for now though. And we now have a buy now button. So if we want to buy this, we click, it takes us straight to the checkout and we can immediately buy that product, bypassing multiple steps that can kind of put a barrier in the way of selling products. Pretty cool. And as you can see, stupidly easy to actually go ahead and implement into your site. Now, another thing that lots of people ask how to change the text on the buttons when it comes to your products, you can do that inside here as well. You add the cart text, we can select that, enable the option if we want to, and we can change the label for the simple products, the variable products, and the out of stock products. So you can tweak the wording on your site should you want to. And as you can see, there are a bunch more options for conversion inside your sticky add to cart, stock scarcity, add into wait lists, recently viewed products, those kinds of things. Things you're used to seeing on lots of stores that are not part of WooCommerce out of the box. You do need extra plugins, but Merchant gives you all those in one plugin. Then you've got your boost revenue. So if you want to apply pre-orders to a product that's actually out of stock or you're waiting for it to actually be released, you can apply pre-orders. You've got things like frequently bought together, spending discounts, volume discounts, and so on. So let's take a look at something like a spending discount goal. 
And now what you can do is you can pop in the spending goal, how much money you want someone to spend before they get something else. So we'll say $30 and it's based upon the cart subtotal, but if you wanted to, it could be the cart totals. And then you can choose the discount type. Do you want a fixed rate or a percentage of the overall value? And then what do you want to apply? In this case, we'll say 10%. And if you want to, there's more options underneath for the text formatting so you can customize this to get exactly what you want, including the color scheme you want to use. So now if we jump back over to our shop, Jumping back over to the front end of the site, we now get this little notification saying that we've got 100% to get our discount. If we open this up, you can see it tells us, congratulations, you get a discount of 10% on this order. Pretty cool. If we hop over into our cart, you can see if we scroll down to our basket totals, there's our subtotal $75, our spending goal, we've got 10% off, $7.50, pretty nifty. But now let's say we remove this product so we don't reach that total. You can see now that our little basket in the bottom left-hand corner tells us 40%. If we open that up, spend $18 more to get a 10% discount. And you can also see that the discount has been removed from our basket total. But as you can see, it's very easy to implement and can be a great way of getting upsells on your store. Now, moving on from our boost revenue options, we've got reduced cart abandonment. And that's one of the areas when it comes to online stores you want to kind of get back as many potential abandoned carts as possible, and there's various different ways of doing it. Let's take a look at something like the cart reserve timer. If you've ever been online buying tickets for concerts, you'll know that they give you a set amount of time before you lose that and it gets emptied out of your shopping cart, you know, creates a sense of FOMO, fear of missing out. Well, let's go and do something like that. Let's enable this cart reserve timer option. So now let's go and take a look at buying a product. So we'll say add to cart, we can view our basket, and you can see this tells us now we've got nine minutes and X seconds before this will, well, something will happen to it. So if we go back to our settings, we can choose whether we want to just hide the timer so it doesn't get removed from the cart, or we can clear the cart itself. Whichever you think is gonna give you the best option for conversion and helping people make that purchase. Now, when it comes to online stores and websites in general, there's a kind of terminology that's used about helping people use it more effectively. And that's called know, like, and trust. When someone knows you, and they like what you do, and they trust you, there's more chance of converting that into an online sale. And some of the things you can do to build that level of trust is show payment logos, trust badges, reasons to buy, and things like that. It helps people see if you've got a 30 day money back guarantee, you accept credit cards, whatever it is, it helps them build trust in what you offer, and therefore helps potential for making more sales. If you want to apply payment logos, you want to apply trust badges, product brand images, social links, those kinds of things, we can enable that directly inside you. So for example, we may say we want to add trust badges, we can go in, we can enable this feature and we can choose what badges we want. So we can select these badges so we can use our own badges. We're not restricted to a, a set collection. But as you can see from the preview on the right hand side, you can have things like 24 seven support, 100% satisfaction, 30 day money back guarantees, those kinds of things. And again, you can customize aspects of this how you want them to be displayed, what text you want, colors, those kinds of things. Now the improve experience section, now this is where a lot of users will definitely have additional plugins installed. So if you've got an online store that has clothing or anything to do with sizes and colors and things like that, chances are if you want to have those displayed in a nicer format, you're gonna be using plugins to do just that. You've also got things like if you wanna have product videos, you want to have sort of product audio, depending upon what you want, you could have a sample of an audio book or something if you're selling that kind of thing on your store, lots of different reasons to have things like this. So something as easy as adding a product video, we can simply go and include that, enable the option, and then all you need to do is choose the settings for it. So you can see we can choose this autoplay, we've got our aspect ratio, and now when we go into our products, scroll to the bottom where we've got our additional options, and now you can see a new entry called product video. You can see this is enabling the featured video, so this will replace whatever you've got as your product featured image in your shop, any way you kind of see it. You can see there's an example, we've got this embedded video. You can also do the same thing whether you want to autoplay this, you just drop a link in from Vimeo, from YouTube, or even self-hosted if you want to do that. You can also enable a video gallery. And again, you've got the same options inside here. So if you want to, you can enable that. And then when you go into the product itself, so you see the first image in the gallery has now been replaced by the video that we've included. And that now is available directly inside our product itself. Again, you'd format this to be exactly the same as everything else you want. So everything looks nice and neat and tidy. But if video or audio is something you want to use, this is a super easy way of being able to link that into the products in various different places. And then wrapping everything up, we've got the protect store option. So if you want 
to agree to terms checkbox to so make sure that people agree to the terms before they actually purchase. Just to cover yourself, you can enable that. And the same thing goes if you want to add a cookie banner in, you can add a cookie banner in. So this is just scratching the surface of what can be achieved using Merchant and or Merchant Pro. Now, for me, the key selling point of either of these, whether it's the free version or the pro version, is that it means that I've got one plugin to maintain and update and purchase if I go for the pro version over multiple plugins to maintain, purchase and update. This just makes life a little easier. And as new features come on board, I'll automatically have those available as part of the merchant plugins. This just means it's easy to implement and integrate into your online store. So if you want to find out more for yourself about Merchant and or Merchant Pro, I'll have links in the description down below so you can check those out for yourself. Check out pricing on the Pro version and see what additional features it offers for yourself. As always, all applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tats. And until next time, take care.